What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be continuing to showcase the Legends of Ruin legendaries. And this time, we got ourselves Chiyu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got Chiyu today, and Chiyu is absolutely amazing. It is a very cool Pokemon. Fire and dark little goldfish, right? Or like koi fish, some type of fish. It just looks very, very cool in my opinion. And what it does is it's actually the opposite of Shen Pao. So Shen Pao gets out there, lowers the defense of all Pokemon on the field. Chiyu actually lowers the special defense of all Pokemon on the field. So pair it up with Fluttermane or just have it out there by itself, it is able to rip and do some crazy damage. First Pokemon for today's pre team preview is going to be Dragonite. We used Dragonite in the last video, but it is still very strong on this team. It's got Inner Focus, the Lumberry, and then it has East Speed, Ice Spinner, Terror Blast, and Tailwind. Great Tusk going to be our second Pokemon with Protosynthesis and a Focus Sash. Normal moveset for him with Headlong Rush, EQ, Close Combat, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. And we're probably going to be using Fluttermane on every single battle, considering it is great on its own, it is great to set up Trick Room, and it is super powerful next to Chiyu. It's got Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy as its item, then it's rocking Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, Trick Room like we already mentioned, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Chiyu, the star of the show, is going to be our fourth Pokemon for today's team preview. Rocking the Beads of Ruin, we already went over that ability, and then the Choice Scarf as its item, so it can outspeed pretty much any Pokemon. It's got Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Snarl, and Overheat. Logan is going to be our fifth Pokemon, Torkoal's best buddy with Chlorophyll as its ability, and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Sleep Powder, it's got Leaf Storm, After You, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Torkoal, and Torkoal is amazing on this team. One, it is crazy strong at Trick Room if we set it up with Fluttermane. Two, it props Power Synthesis for our Fluttermane and our Great Tusk. Absolutely amazing. And then another reason is it pairs up with Loganth. We go into Loganth and Torkoal after you and just Eruption away. Torkoal's got Drought, the Charcoal as its item, Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Chiyu team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. Really, really cool team. They got Shen Pao and Chiyu. They also have Palafin, Golden Go, and then Rapscaba, and oh, or it's just Rapska, and then that that Doe Pokemon, the the the, the Doe Dog, whatever, however you say it. But it has well baked body, which uh can't really hit it with fire moves. It's gonna be a problem. It is definitely going to be a problem. So how should we lead this one? How should we play it? I kind of don't mind a little bit of Fluttermane action alongside with Chiyu, right? Rock out with both of them right off the rip. I'm really like that. So I'm going to go with both of them. I am going to bring my Tusk. And last but not least, I am going to bring my Dragonite. So everybody except for the Sun combo seems pretty simple. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But something I did not mention in the team preview, totally forgot, and that's my bad, is a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. You the man. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be linking your channel down in the description below. So if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, get on top of that. He makes some awesome teams. But Chiyu and Palafin's gonna be a lead for him. And Chiyu and wait, can does the Chiyu Beads of Ruin stack? I wonder if they stack. If you guys know if they stack, let me know in the comment section down below. But look how cool this Pokemon looks. Little goldfish action. I actually really like its design. I really do. But from here, I can just throw a Moonblast into this slot and get rid of his Chiyu. And I might even just Heat Wave on top of that. I could actually terrestrialize in the dark. I really don't feel like getting hit by like a jet punch or something. What do I want to do? I could lower their special uh, attack. What is the play? What other Pokemon do you have? You have Golden Go, Rabska. I think I'm just going to go into a Snarl here. I really think that's my play. Moon Blast you down and then just start snarling around. Or I can go into Dark Pulse. Hmm. I'm going to terrestrialize you. Terrestrialize Dark Pulse? I can get down with it. I can definitely get down with that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trash size into Ghost, and we're gonna get ripping. So he hard swaps probably into the uh, the dog, right? Yeah, Doc Spun. Yes, this is exactly why I did not go into a fire move. Exactly why I did not go into a fire move. So we get off a nice big time Dark Pulse, but I think it might actually be Dark. Is that thing straight fire, or is it fire and dark? It might be fire and dark. But we trash slides for one reason and one reason only. Palfing still has Jet Punch, and that can really do some big-time damage to us. So I wasn't dealing with it. 
So I thrasslize my Chiyu, they're gonna thrasslize their Chiyu, and what typing are you going into? Straight fire? Water. Okay. We get a little bit of a water Chiyu coming out of here. Really, really cool. Double Chiyu action. And Dark Pulse is gonna fly here. Yeah, I think that thing's part Dark type. Moonblast is gonna fly here as well. And chuck up some big time damage on the Chiyu. And it's good to know that. Ooh, we get a special attack drop. And it's good to know that we outspeed. So Lava Plume comes out here, boosting that thing's defense. But good thing we're special attacking. And we're gonna chuck up some damage. Okay. And of course, he gets the burn on me. So you're getting the burn on me. And I'm totally fine with that. So we know we have speed. We know Chiyu's out speeding. I think I just go for a Moon Blast to take you out. And I just Dark Pulse you down, right? I'm choice into it, so. I think we're thriving. I think we're thriving. So Chiyu ends up protecting. That's totally fine. I think he just wants to bring back out Palafin. And kind of get it for the match that way, right? Because Jet Punch can really, really do me dirty. But double Chiyu action. Loving it. Moon Blast comes out here. Says, see you later, Doc Spun. Get it on out of here. So we ripped into you. Do I hard swap my Chiyu? That is the real question. Or do I just leave my Pokemon in here? Options, options, options. Or we could just hope that he doesn't bring in Palafin, right? But he's definitely bringing in Palafin. Jet Punch is just too good. And I feel like from here we have to double down in the Chiyu. I just think it's your best bet, but never mind. We do not have to. That's totally fine. You pretty much just gave us a win, right? You pretty much just gave us a win, right? Because Shadow Ball KOs you. Dark Pulse KOs you. We outspeed both you guys. Palafin was your best option to jet punch somebody and take somebody out. But yeah, you pretty much just gave me the win. Thank you very much. I will take that. I will take that. Chiyu versus Chiyu. And your boy ends up catching that thumb. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't know anything that they can do because they have no first turn priority without Palafin. And I mean, if you hard swap, I'm pretty sure we pick up a big time KO. But I don't think the ruins stack. I don't think they stack. But Chiyu ends up fainting here. Beautiful for my Chiyu. And then the Shadow Ball is just going to outspeed and take it out. Your special defense is lowered. I'm telling you guys. Chiyu and Fluttermane is broken. It is insanely powerful. Insanely powerful. See you later, Golden Go. Now it's 2v1. Game, set, match. Game, set, match. And I outspeed besides a Jet Punch. Yeah, our opponent just canceled this battle. It was too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And I think that's a sweep on our side, right? A little bit of sweep action? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's throw a Moon Blast here. And then just another Dark Pulse, considering we are choice into it. And here comes the Jet Punch. And you go after Fluttermane. And that actually KOs Fluttermane. Wow. I was not expecting that to actually KO Fluttermane. That just ripped into me. Dark Pulse is going to fly here. And doing half damage, which is huge. Big time, big time, big time. But no sweep. No sweep anymore. Kind of sucks. But we can just go straight into Dragonite here. And just go into an E-Speed. E-Speed and Dark Pulse. E-Speed, Dark Pulse. Um, Dark Pulse is the only one that can KO. I don't think E-Speed will. But they can end up canceling battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get this team rolling. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Shen Pao, and I cannot rem remember that legendary's name. It's the Deer one. Cannot remember its name, but I'm pretty sure it lowers physical attack, right? I believe it lowers the physical attack, and then the, the Slug one lowers special attack. I think that's how it goes. But going up against this team, they also have Mousehold and Annihilate. Very strong combo, and but they have Dragonite with the Shen Pao combo. Really scary, and then Fluttermane as their last Pokemon. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Chiyu is actually really good for a lead here. So I might just run it again, right? Chiyu alongside with maybe a physical attacker instead of Fluttermane. I, I mean, I like Fluttermane here, though. I do really like Fluttermane. Hmm. Who do I go? I definitely want to bring in my Dragonite just for if they bring the Shen Pao. But I'm going to go Chiyu Fluttermane again. That, that's just amazing. And then we'll go into uh, the same squad. Same squad. I just feel like they pick up KOs this time. And we're forced to bring out Dragonite. But Dragonite can be really, really powerful. Especially when Shen Pao's on the field. Even on our opponent's side. Because, again, everybody's defense is still down. He can get ripping with it. So, E-Speed. Gonna do some crazy damage. We're not Choice Bandit. We're not Normal Terror. So, it's not gonna be like the last video where the Dragonite was just ripping. But still, E-Speed with Shen Pao on the field is crazy damage. 
But they're gonna end up leading that's the Pokemon's name, Ting Lu. Ting Lu alongside with Dragonite. So I think these just kind of cancel out. The special defense comes out here for the drops, but the special attack drops. So that's going to cancel out, but I still don't really mind this lead. I don't mind this. I got Protosynthesis popping. They do have Dragonite out on the field. Um, I could choose to do a Heat Wave here. I could choose to do a Heat Wave. And what's your typing? That thing's dark and what? Dark and what? Dark and ground. Oh, I love that typing. That's a sick typing. That is a really cool typing. I'm actually just going to Trasalize my, uh, my Chi Yu. And I think I'm just going to throw a Heat Wave here. Or do I start ripping with Dark Bolsas into this slot? Nah, 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 nah. We're just going to go into this. We're going to do this, and I'm going to double down into the Ting Lu spot. I think that's the play. So Heat Wave flies here. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Can we get some burns out here? No burns. Moonblast flies, and Moonblast doing some nice damage. Real nice damage. Tailwind flies, so they get they get some speed. But well, my Ting Lu might be faster. Or my Chi Yu, I should say. And that kind of sucks. Was not expecting this thing to rock Heavy Slam, and it's rocking Heavy Slam. So he takes me out, no problem. And should I just go into the Tusk now? Tusk isn't bad. Tusk is not bad. I could Flying Terror you. I could do that. I, well, I could throw an Ice Spinner into the Dragonite. We have options. We indeed have options. I'm just going to go for another Heat Wave, chip up some more damage. And I think I'm just going to Terrasalize and just go for an Ice Spinner here. Right? And the reason I'm going to Thrasalize is because they set up a Tailwind. If you have Ice Spinner 2, if this Dragon Knight has Ice Spinner 2, then instead of being a 4 times super effective, it will only be 2. We still have multi-scale. We can soak it up with no problem. And then we can just rip into this uh, Dragon Knight. Okay, so this match is actually going to be really good. We might end up losing this one, but... Hey, we're, we're, we're showcasing the, the Legend Pokemon. Heat Wave's flying. How much damage are we doing? Give me some burns. Give me some burns. No burns and stopping tantrums flying. So he's going to rip up onto my Chiyu. Can I get one more turn with him? I am going to. And he uses this move. Ruin Nation. I don't even know what that does. I don't even know what that does. But we're going to KO the Dragonite. And the best part about this is... Chiyu is still fast on the field due to, due to its Choice Scarf. Due to its Choice Scarf, it is fast on the field. So I could just E-Speed into that left slot. And we can really get thriving here. And I don't think I'm going to need to E speed unless I think it's choice, right? So I just want to go for a heat wave here and then just go into a terror blast. That's my play all day. That is my play all day. Hopefully the Annihilate is not choice. And we can get off this move. Because if my Chiyu outspeeds, we can just get rid of the uh the Ting Lu. The special attack will go back up. And then I can get ripping with my uh Dragonite. Okay, so this is a real close battle. But he ends up Terrasalize and hurts the soul a little bit. Hurts the soul a little bit. And what typing are you going to do? Straight fire? Are you a straight fire annihilate? You are indeed. Of course you are. When I'm rocking with Chi Lu using heat waves, we're going up against fire annihilates. So it's not Chewy Scarf that works perfectly. We get rid of that thing. And then I can throw this uh this flying move, but I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. It's probably nothing crazy. And he's gonna end up bulking up. So bulk up's gonna come in hot here. We do have the focus sash with the great tusk in the back end. So if I can focus down on this left slot, that could actually be really, really good for us. That actually did a good chunk of damage. Did a good chunk of damage. So I'm not really too worried about annihilate. Again, if I can turn this into a 1v1, my tusk can win this thing, no problem. Headlong rush will just absolutely murk it. And now it goes to the final Pokemon, which is going to be Mousehole. So Mousehole comes out here. And yeah, obviously Heat Wave's going to be our play. Because, again, that's all we have. And then, I gotta double down into it. I have to double down into it. I have to double down into the mass one. So we're hoping no protects here. I don't think protects gonna come out here. I more so see... Oh, no! I was gonna say, I more so see the follow me. But, yo, that... That might have that just won our opponent the match there. That might have won the opponent the match. Let's see what he goes for here. He, has, he opts to go for the Drain Punch. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Okay, this one's going to be close. Because Tailwind should end for them. 
Terror Blast gets blocked. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. But again, we can send free EQs. So, like, follow me would not do anything, and EQ can still take out that Annihilate at that HP. Okay, so EQ is going to be the play, and probably just Terror Blast, right? I like it. I still like it. Yo, Great Tusk in the back end. Perfect. It's perfect for us. Just what we need it. If I could pick any Pokemon to have in the back end right now, it'd be you. It'd be this Pokemon. But yeah, I'm just going to throw an EQ. And ch 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 probably just Terra Blast, right? Do I double down into Annihilate? Probably not. I think we go after Mousehold because Annihilate could protect. We'll just go from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They can't terrestrialize. We already know the typings. I'm all about it. Annihilate ends up protecting. This is exactly why we send a Terra Blast into that slot. And I am scared of this... Uh, Okay, I was gonna say I'm scared of the mousehole, but he opts to go into a super fang. And what I was most scared about was the uh, a population bomb coming out from that thing. That would have been devastating. So EQ's flying here. We get off some big time damage on the mousehole, and this terror blast should come out here and finish that off. So now we're sitting on a 2v1, and we're looking good. We're looking real good. We're looking real good. Actually, I don't know how good we're looking, to be honest. How good are we looking here? That's the real question. Because does Annihilate outspeed my my Tusk? Do you outspeed my Tusk? I don't think you do. 139, I don't think you outspeed my Tusk. It's a possibility. And it would suck if that happens. But I'm going for the headlong rush. I'm going straight for a tire blast. Let's get ripping into this. Battle was canceled. We take that all day. 2-0. Absolutely dominating with Chi Yu today. Final match coming at you guys, and it looks like we are going up against a stall team, correct? Looks like we're going up against a stall team. They have the slug Pokemon that lowers physical attacks, so special attackers, we got to bring them in here. They also have Clodsire, Corviknight, Toxapex, and Gargonagle, and Blissey. This is 100% a stall, but I'm going to win this one. The last combo, where the only Pokemon that we haven't used so far, is Torkoal and Lilikant, so I am going to end up leading them, and just bring it in Chi Yu and... And Fluttermane in the back end. Seems good, right? Just keep all of our physical attackers out of here. Probably your best bet, because they got a bunch of bulky defensive Pokemon. They have their legendary that actually lowers physical attack. So, best bet is to just leave all of our physical attackers behind. We'll rock out with their special attackers for this one. So, let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be Wo Xian and Corvo Corvo. And from here... I think we just go after you and Terrasalize Eruption. It's super effective on the both. You give me no reason not to. You're going to have to Terrasalize one of them, and then the other one's dead. That's fine. And they might not even Terrasalize one. I don't think they are. Because if they were going to Terrasalize, it would have came out before. So, I think we're just going to win this match in two turns, right? There's a possibility here. There is a possibility. After you, they're both dead. You're both definitely dead, right? Most definitely. Her opponent's probably like, oh my lord. What did I get myself into? Yeah, game, set, match. Okay, we might win this game in two turns. <laughs> like I said, Turco Logan is OP. Kind of expecting them to turn off the console, but... Yeah. I think we... I think they're going to cancel. Because we're just going to do the same thing next turn. Toxapex comes out here. I mean, I don't have to do the same thing. They do have Terrasalization, but I could actually leave Storm in that slot. I could leave Storm if I would like to. And I'm thinking I'm just doing this. Earth Power U. And leave Storm this thing. Because Toxapex is going to be the one to Terrasalize, if anything. If anything, it's going to be the Toxapex. Nope, they just cancel battle. Like I said, one turn is all it took. We got to showcase this team like crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, that was way too easy. If you guys are looking for a Chiyu team for Series 3, rent this team. I'm pretty sure you guys can just absolutely dominate and get in the Master Tier pretty easily. We just showcased this Pokemon to its fullest potential and showed why it is a top tier Pokemon. When it comes to Series 3, you pair it up with any special attacker and you are just absolutely ripping and winning battles, no problem. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.